Hi scientists, it's Miss Seltzer, and yes, you are looking at a worm. So, we're gonna diagram or label the parts of a worm. And before we do that, let's watch our friend the worm move around. It's kind of interesting. Just watch for a few more seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna gently, not poke it, but kind of touch it with the pencil. Sometimes it'll, yep, you can see him, yep, or her moving. Looks like a question mark now, doesn't it? Interesting. This worm has made itself into the shape of a question mark, very, Cool. Who knew? Okay, so I have a diagram over here and it says worm by, and it's gonna be, for me, it's gonna be Scientist Seltzer, so I'm gonna write my name. Scientist Seltzer. And you're gonna put your name. And I have a list. Your paper might look a little different than this when you get it. Mouth, saddle, segments, tushy, and hearts. Because worms have five hearts. We have one, worms have five. And you can see I have a line over here. And what do you think that is? And if you think that is the worm's mouth, you're right. M-O-U-T-H. Let's just look over at our worm again. Let's go close. Let's see if you can find the mouth. A little hard, isn't it? Okay, and then, and we're not going to open the worm, but if we did, we would find hearts. The hearts, and that's H-E-A-R-T-S, hearts. So we can check off mouth from our list and hearts. Now, we come over here and this is called the saddle, saddle. And we'll look at our worm and see if we can find it. S-A-D-D-L-E. Let's see if we can find it. Let's look close. Um, you can see it and that's what helps the worm move and that is right over here. And kind of where Miss Seltzer has it is called the saddle. Let's, let's get a little closer. Oh, so cool. I'm so glad I have these worms to keep me company. I don't know if you just noticed, but that worm just picked up a piece of the dirt. So there is the mouth. Just picked up the dirt, piece of the dirt. Wow, that was very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So now we know that end is the mouth. Okay, then there's the lines. Can you see on my diagram the lines? And those are called segments. Segments. S, S, E, G, M, E, N, T, S segments. Okay, let's just watch our friends again. See if you are, what, you're, what are you noticing? I've been doing a lot of talking, so I'm going to stop. I just want you to observe, which is what good scientists do, and make some observations. Let's make some observations. Watch how the worm is moving, stretching, and then it contracts, which means it comes together, but it stretches and then contracts. 
so cool. Pretty fascinating, isn't it? I wanted you to be able to see the segments a little closer. And then I saved one part down here for last. And I wrote on here the tushy. It's the rear end of the worm. And it's a little hard sometimes to tell which is the front and which is the back. But we watched the worm pick something up with its mouth and that's how we could tell that was the mouth and this end back here is the rear end or the tushy. So let's just watch, oh, making a letter S for seltzer probably, don't you think? Nice handwriting. Let's just observe for a few more seconds and then we'll say goodbye. And I will put the worm back with its friends. Whoa. And you notice, oh, whoa. Moving pretty fast. Whoa. This worm is busy. This is super cool. You could just spit the piece of dirt out. Well, it looks like the number, number six with a little curl on top. Very talented worm. Okay. I hope you've made some interesting observations. I know I have. Every time I look at the worms, I notice something new. Okay, scientists, maybe you can find some worms outside.